Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows differentiation between stillbirth and miscarriage. In fetal death, that occurs prior to 20 weeks, gestation is usually classified as spontaneous abortion. Those occurring after 20 weeks constitute a fetal device or stillbirth. Many states use a fetal weight of 350 gram or more to define a fetal demise. You can see the fetus and the duration of pregnancy measures about 22 weeks and you can see the fetal skull bones are overlapping and this is the positive spalding sign. You can see the skull bones are severely overlapping on each, on each other. When a baby dies in uterus at 20 weeks of pregnancy or later, it is called stillbirth. When a pregnancy is lost before 20 weeks, it is called a miscarriage. About 1 in 160 pregnancies ends up in stillbirth in the United States. Both miscarriage and stillbirth describe the pregnancy loss, but they differ according to when the, this loss occurs. In the United States, a miscarriage is usually defined as a loss of baby before the 20 weeks of pregnancy, and a stillbirth is the loss of baby at or above after 20 weeks of pregnancy. A stillbirth is the death of a baby in the womb after week 20 of the mother's pregnancy. The reason go unexplained for one third of cases. The other two third may be caused by problems with the placenta or umbilical cord, high blood pressure, infections, birth defects and poor lifestyle choices. In the later half, of the, in the later half, you will see another video showing the miscarriage. The this first video is showing the stillbirth. Now the signs of a fetal demise in the womb are the most common symptoms of the stillbirth is when you stop feeling your baby's move, move, movements and kicking. Others include cramps, pain or bleeding from the vagina. Call your health care provider right away or go to the emergency room if you have any of these conditions. You can see the fetal abdomen and there is and chest and there is no fetal cardiac activity. No fetal movements are seen, no blood flow is seen in this fetus. Hospitals are obliged to remove the dead fetus from a, wom from a woman as quickly as possible, at most within three days from when the loss was discovered. A baby born between 20 and 26 weeks is considered to be periviable or born during a, the window when a fetus has a chance of surviving outside the womb. These babies are called micro preemies. A baby born before 24 weeks has less than 50% chance uh, uh, of survival, say the experts. You can see this is the femur of the femur of the fetus. Both the legs are visible, but there are no limb movements. Now the baby with no fetal heartbeat. This is called an embryon an amb uh, embryonic pregnancy, which is also known as blighted ovum or it may be that your baby started to grow but then stopped growing. 
they have no art beat occasionally it happens beyond the first few weeks perhaps at 8 weeks to or 12 weeks or even further on now the fetal demise in second trimester about 2 to 3% of pregnancies will be lost in the second trimester a rate that is much lower than in the first trimester once a pregnancy gets to about 20 weeks gestation less than 0.5% will end in a fetal demise a loss at this time in pregnancy is most often a hard and sad experience now the stillborn stillborn baby stay in the womb how long how long can you keep a still born baby generally it is medically safe for the mother to continue carrying her baby until labor begins which is normally about 2 weeks after the baby has died this lapse in time can have an effect on the body's appearance at delivery and it is best to be prepared for this now you are going to see the other video and this is a case of miscarriage at the duration of the pregnancy is about 14 weeks so the ultrasound diagnosis of miscarriage should be considered when either a mean gestation sac diameter is equal to more than 25 mm with no obvious yolk sac or a fetal pole with the crown rump length of equal to or more than 7 mm without evident of fetal cardiac activity transvaginal ultrasound is the mainstay in the diagnosis of miscarriage and the pregnant the duration of the pregnancy must be less than 20 weeks otherwise it will be a case of stillborn A missed abortion is a non-viable intrauterine pregnancy that has been retained within the uterus without spontaneous abortion. Typically, no symptoms exist besides amenorrhea, and the patient finds out that the pregnancy stopped developing earlier when the fetal heartbeat is not observed or heard at the appropriate time. An ultrasound usually confirms the diagnosis. You can see in this fetus there are no fetal movements. no blood flow is seen and no fetal card- cardiac activity is visible or audible in addition to signs of fetal life on sonography subchorionic bleeding is an important factor affecting the outcome of gestation in patients with clinical threatened abortion the most common cause for first trimester spontaneous abortion is fetal chromosomal abnormalities well most practitioners wait until at least 6 weeks to perform the first ultrasound a gestation sac can be seen as early as 4 and a half weeks after the last period a heartbeat can be detected as early as 5 to 6 weeks although it might not be detected that early in all cases so this is the case of miscarriage a missed abortion or a missed miscarriage is in which the fetus didn't form or fetal demise had occurred but the placenta and embryonic tissue are still in the uterus in this case the fetus is also inside the uterus it is known more commonly as missed miscarriage it is also sometimes called silent miscarriage a missed abortion is not an elective abortion so the missed uh, miscarriage means that the baby has stopped growing or there is fetal demise but there are no miscarriage symptoms such as bleeding or pain it can also be called a delayed miscarriage some women do not experience any symptoms of miscarriage at all however possible miscarriage signs beside bleeding include mild to severe cramps pain in back or abdomen loss of pregnancy symptoms such as nausea and vomiting white pink mucus passing tissue or clot like material
to make the diagnosis with the ultrasound finding. It may include uh, but not limited to the absence of the fetal pole, lack of growth of fetal pole, fetal pole with no evident cardiac activity, lack of sac at the appropriate gestational age, D-shaped yolk sac or placental separation. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.